Okay, Green Dead, we can make a start if you're comfortable and ready to go. Yes, I'm ready. You just start where you want. And just remember what I said about questions you'd rather not answer. I don't want to upset you in any way. Mm. Mm. My dear boy, I know how much this interview means to you. Uh, you've always been curious about my time during the war, so I'm happy to answer any questions you have. I survived a war, remember, so don't you worry about me. That's fine, Granddad. I really appreciate you doing this. Can you state your full name and the highest rank you achieve? Uh, yes, uh, Charles Winston John Jones. But uh, everyone just called me Jack. And while I was uh, in the army, my number was 95282, and I achieved the rank of sergeant. And what section of the army were you designated to? Uh, I was assigned to the 23rd Battalion, A Company, which was full of us uh, lads from the Canterbury area. Uh, the 23rd Battalion uh, was also made up of men from all parts of the South Island. Uh, Canterbury, obviously, uh, Otago, uh, Nelson and Marlborough, uh, and so on. And how was life before the war? Well, my father was the manager of a farm. Uh, Williston Estate, it was called. I was born near, you see, uh, so that's where my middle name comes from. Anyway, there were uh, three children in our family. Uh, my older brother, Hector, uh, then Sarah, who uh, everyone called Sadie, uh, to stop confusion, uh, was our mother, who was also Sarah. Uh, but I would call her Biddy. That was my nickname for her. Uh, and then there was me, the youngest. And what was life like growing up? Oh, yes. Sorry. Uh, life was hard during the Depression times, uh, but we were lucky that uh, we lived on a farm, so food was okay for us. Uh, we had a lot to do around the place. We were expected to help out. Uh, my father taught us boys how to uh, shoot rabbits and live off the land. And when we got a letter older, he also taught us to hunt deer. Um, he was a great shooter, my father. Yes, he was a, he was a great shot. And how did you hear about New Zealand's declaration of war? Well, we have done a town, you see. Uh, so we would only hear uh, of the news or events if we uh, went to town for the day uh, or if someone came to visit. Uh, so on this occasion, it was my brother Hector who brought the news home. Uh, he had been... Uh, sent to town that day by our father to get a few things. Can you describe to me the feelings you had the day you enlisted? Well, I was very excited. Uh, I saw it as a, an adventure rather than going off to fight. Uh, I didn't tell any of my family I was going to enlist. My father sent me to town to get some fencing supplies to uh, fix a spot and, uh, and the fence where the sheep kept getting out. Uh, so I used this opportunity to enlist. I ended up forgetting about the supplies because uh, me and a couple of the other lads uh, that enlisted went to have a beer to celebrate. And I ended up uh, getting home quite late that evening. Uh, my parents are very annoyed. I forgot the supplies and the fact I went drinking. Uh, but that all soon turned into shock and, and, and sadness when I informed them that I had enlisted. Uh, my mother took a, a couple of days uh, to come right. Uh, after that, she told me she was proud. Uh, my father didn't talk to me much about it. Uh, he seemed more worried about what needed to be done around the farm before I left. Uh, just, I just wanted him to be proud of me. Uh, he was a hard man. Um, didn't like to show too much emotion. You okay, Grindad? 
I'm, I'm okay, my boy. Well, what's your next question? Um, okay. Um, can you tell me about your first deployment? My first deployment, well, I was eventually sent to Greece, uh, where we had to defend the area from uh, the advancing Germans. Uh, we had a horrible time. Uh, it seemed we were always fighting, then retreating uh, to a new defensive position. Uh, the Germans are very good at anything they did. They eventually pushed us back. So far, we had to evacuate to the island of Crete uh, so we could regroup and resupply. Uh, the Germans came to try to take Crete off us uh, after some time. But uh, we were ready for them. We didn't give the paratroopers a chance to land. Uh, we shot many of them as, as they floated down. It wasn't a nice thing to do, but you know, but it was, it was either us or them. Um, our platoon was sent out on a patrol this one time. Uh, we got pinned down by a, a German sniper. And I said to the others, sod this, Jerry, I'll go fix him, wait here. And I managed to crawl into a ditch uh, where I snuck along uh, to flank the sniper. I was able to sneak right up to where he was. Uh, I could just see where the muzzle of his rifle was poking out from the, the broken window. Uh, so I got one of my grenades. Uh, our grenades were wonderful little things. I could do a lot of damage, you see. Uh, so I got one of my grenades, pulled the pen, and threw it so it would uh, bounce off the wall inside and land near the, near the sniper. Uh, it went off and after that there was a, a lot of screaming and, and words I couldn't understand. Uh, but I couldn't leave him like that. Horrible way to go. Did you have to finish him off? Yes, I had to go finish him off. I didn't want to just leave him like that. Grenades are very destructive. He wasn't in a good way. Did you want to take a break, Grandad? No, I'm fine, my boy. You ask your next question. So you ended up earning yourself a nickname. Can you tell me how that came about? Ha <laughs> ha. Well, after we evacuated Crete, we ended up in North Africa. Uh, had Danes a bit of a reputation amongst the lads with being a pretty, pretty handy shot from the Lee Enfield. Uh, so I was given a T rifle, which was uh, number four, was a telescopic sight, you see, uh, and became platoon sniper. I had got pretty good at shooting long distances. Uh, the hardest part was accounted for the wind. Uh, I would usually target uh, Italian and German officers if I could. I figured it was harder to replace an experienced captain or general rather than uh, standard infantry. Um, in the desert, we would get these scorpions, dangerous little buggers. They would sneak right up to you, and if you weren't careful um, and didn't stop them in time, they would uh, sting you with their tail. I guess the lads who knew of me thought I was pretty similar with my antics, so I got nicknamed uh, the Scorpion. <laughs> uh, there were definitely worse nicknames around, so I thought I did pretty well with that one. Can you tell me what it was like having the telescopic sight rather than standard rifle open sight? Well, I saw a lot of faces. A lot of faces. Um, they're all still up in my, up in my mind, up in my, up in my memory. Um, all the ones where I pulled the trigger, um, most of them had blue eyes. 
If he was green or brown, but a lot of them had blue. I remember that much. Um, sometimes I could get a good idea about their personality if I wasn't rushed. Uh, if I was able to watch long enough. But I had to try my hardest to block all of that out, you know. Yeah. Most of them were just like us, trying to do their bit the best they could. War turns men into animals, my boy. We end up doing terrible things to each other. But yes, I saw a lot of faces. Can you tell me about your time during the Italian campaign? Granddad, you okay? Granddad. What's that, my boy? Are you okay? Yes. Sorry, I must have drifted off. I... I... Uh, I'm... I'm okay. What was the question? You wanted to know about my time in Italy? Yeah, that's the one, but are you sure you're okay to go on? Maybe we should take a break. Yes. Yes, good idea. Uh, how about a cup of tea? Yeah, I'll, I'll go put the jug on. You stay there. I've got those biscuits you like as well, remember? Sounds good, my boy. Sounds good. <laughs> 